In 2006, hip hop lost one of its true pioneers as James J. Dilla Yancey passed away on February 10th. His untimely death sent shockwaves through the hip hop community, but thanks to his undeniable influence and timeless musical contributions, his legacy lives on forever as fans and colleagues continue to celebrate his life. You know, my man JD is a true hip hop artist. The most humble, modest, worthy, and gifted beat maker I've known. Definitely the best producer on a mic. JD had a passion for life and music and will never be forgotten. Be forgotten. Be forgotten. Be forgotten. to Jay Dilla. Um, we're coming up on his birthday, which is February 7th, and the day he passed, which is February 10th. But the month of February means a lot, you know, for, in regards to just us celebrating Dilla. We can go as far as to say that's his month, along with Black History Month. But uh, Jay Dilla, for me, I mean, I still sometimes think like, man, where would music be if, if JD was here? Was here?
more than uh, rap music borrows from Dilla. You can see his influence actually in R&B and, you know, uh, jazz artists work with him before, you know what I'm saying? So I think it transcended, you know, hip hop in general. But, um, you know, uh, he just represented, you know, hard work uh, to me, you know. Um, he literally did the music to death, you know, for the people. You know, he made donuts from his hospital bed. So um, it just lets me know to get serious about my craft, man, because um, nothing is promised, my, not even my health. You know, I can get sick tomorrow and never recover. So, you know, just really just live for the moment, you know, make the most of the moment when it's presented to you. So, you know, that's the biggest thing he taught me, man. Jay Dilla embodies the sound that we are all, my peers, trying to create. The sound, the purity, the spirituality, the the thump, the rawness, all that that goes into making the music I made. Um, Jay Dilla perfected and mastered, and um, you know, um, you know, he's like a prophet with the music. The way he was able to take the old samples and soul and really make a real sound relevant to today's music. You know, and, and um, he was a rare breed.
Light was it was produced by this incredible producer named Jay Dilla, and I would go. Um, I wrote that. Peace, Jay, Dilla. Jay Dilla, rest in peace. God bless his soul. Um, I would basically he he I would go to Detroit and hook up with him, and we went to his basement, and he he had a beat actually that he had made on a beat tape, and I heard it, and I was like, I want this beat, and we went back to his basement, and he started really creating it, recreating the beat, and. And once I got that music, I just went and thought about, you know, this, a person, a woman that I really cared about at the time. And I wasn't even with her, but I just was saying that she was my light at that time, you know, and just, you know, I just wrote from the heart, the light, and that, that was it. And I, and I actually recorded it, and I hadn't finished writing the rhyme, and that's why at the end, I'm just like, took a tie, took a tie, took a, took a tie, because I hadn't really finished it. But I love that take so much, I just kept it, you know?